These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between JDG and LGD. Start the Drake with Meteor awarded over the wall, and it means Kanavi backs away. LGD grouping as a three, clearing all of those wards away. But JDG don't want to let it go without a fight either. Well, we've got a bit of a 3v3 on our hands here. Uh, missing has to be the engaged tool. Yagao's moving over. Jin Chao goes in. Konami looking for the 50-50 on the smites. As missing gets onto Jin Chao, but the flash comes through. The smite goes the way of LGD. But Jin Chao will fall. Maybe more for JDG as they hunt for a little bit more. Xiao, you're forced to flash. And Ruler is going to arcade shift over the wall to try and chase for more. He's got his own flash. No! Oh, but he flubs it. Now if he wants to punish that fact as he starts this red buff off, but guess what? We've got another scrap on our hands as the supports have arrived. There will be no clean objective take this game as Kanavi yeah, you wants to here. try and smite it, gets the red buff. Yagao moving over, strangled forms. Come on down, the CC chain is there. Jin Zhao might be in trouble, but here comes Xiaoya to clean up these kills. Health bars ticking down, Ruler arrives to protect his jungler. And now he's stepping forward as Yagao is still behind enemy lines. Xiaoya will fall, Jin Zhao will fall, but it's traded as Kanavi went down as well. Oh, oh the rocket max range finishes off a bonus. I think JDG heard us talking smack about them in their early games. Oh, it's, oh. Drake will be taken by JDG. So one Drake apiece. Coming out of the early game then, as we head towards that 14 minute mark, that all important end of the platings. It's them to get that gold as well. Again, this is another thing we've been seeing a lot more of the LPL recently. You get all of that tower gold into your gal. We said, hey, seen the all craziest the stuff that I don't feel there are many Zoe's in the world that can do some of the those things that, yeah. to use. And Sheer uses that demolish on the last wave. They get the great poke out on Shai. He uses the ult for wave clear. And they're using another ult for wave clear right now. And neither of them have worked. What were you saying? Dragon started by LGD. And they are the ones which have the better terrain right now. But they don't have the better stats. Sheer engaged upon. Jin Zhao trying to be that frontliner. Shaoya moves around to rejoin his team. JDG definitely won this fight. Hai Chao chunked already to half HP. 4k on the dragon. I think it might just be a 50-50 again, but Meteor, I don't know if he can walk forwards for this one. He can get flicked forwards by Sheer instead as the Drake goes down to JDG. Pyroclasm gets some damage, but Stranglethorns denies the follow-up. Birdall into the back line, but he cannot do enough. Two for one, and now LGD in full retreat, but I don't think JDG again gonna let them go. Ruler finds another and Xiaoya slides his way to say. bad siege scenario. We're already 20 minutes into the game. It's not often you see this kind of, oh <laughs> my lord. <laughs> what? Rocket and a true shot barrage. Xiaoya yeah, is you go sick. over here. Uh, LGD have to respond. It's like Meteor, he knows that Zyra can do this. But there's not a lot he can do about the fact that the Zyra can <laughs> do this. Baron's gonna be gone as the TP's come on through 2K on the objective. Jin Zhao gets in. And unfortunately, that's all he'll be able to do. He drops after the Baron falls. Birdall trying to threaten a little bit. Dives towards the backline, but Yagao flashes away from him. And suddenly, Birdall is stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's a double for Sheer as JDG continue to roll like this it. game. I was a little bit nervous that today we start in Beijing and the other two series will be in Shanghai. I thought, oh, we may fall behind schedule. That would be rough. Uh, I don't think with JGG in this moment we're falling behind schedule today. My goodness. 10,000 gold up at 24 minutes. Jin Zhao has to be the one to face check. But he regrets it immediately as Roller just continues to completely oh, win Roller. everything in the Roller. Roller. enemy team. Roller, what are you doing? Huh? Dude, what? Why would you do that? It just feels like the I love how it was like completely with the WQ, completely with the ult, and then it e into the enemy team. It was like beyond this series, and we will forget largely about the results besides extra things for that. People will remember him missing that play. That's they won't true. necessarily remember these destruction team fights. Yeah, I mean, Meteor's gone again. Pyroclasm came out, it didn't do too much. As JGG. The worst, the worst thing about watching a game like this, as you know, a fan of LGD or someone judging their potential or whatever, is that when you are this far behind in the game, there realistically is no good play. You have to make difficult plays. Shearers has gone into the enemy team. Huh? Uh, 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 JDG, this one's a freebie, lads. All you have to do is manage to clean up. You know, a couple of kills, get some shutdowns, potentially get some objective bounties like this. They should not have been anywhere close to these objectives at this point. Can I be forced to flash away? A big one just annihilates Xiaoya's health bar. As Baron is spawning on the map, Drake's up in a minute as well. And I've realized where this all went wrong for JDG, actually. As uh, Sheer is going to try and find a solo kill onto Birdle. Ooh. And find it, he will. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for Sheer. Off in that sideline, he's had an impressive year for himself. Remember, this guy's pretty new still. This is it. Missing goes inch and jout should fall Sheer, tanking up that culling for his team as Ruler now gets his opportunity to E forwards towards the enemy. This time it's good though. And Xiaoya sent packing. Hai Chao trying to survive alongside him as Ruler looks to 2v1. The enemy AD carries. Could he forwards once again? He's gonna hold. Oh, because we didn't think there would be assault. We thought the game would be over by now. It should happen over about five minutes ago. LGD, get an objective back. thousand gold down, or I guess actually eight thousand gold down, plus this tower going down. Maybe seven thousand gold down. Okay. Yeah, uh, man. You know how how new he is to the scene. He has been playing out a lot of these individual uh, plays really, really solidly. Bottom in him opened up. Baron push going strong for JDG. And after all of that, Birdall is still pushing in the top side. He's TPing to rejoin his team, but the Nexus Tower has already gone down. Jin Zhao is chunked. Birdall on a flank. Can he find the miracle play? He sort of needs to at this point as JDG open up an in hit but decide that is enough for them the flank from birdol is enough of a threat for them to back away but no with a minion wave arriving and birdol backing off to the mid lane they suddenly see another angle birdol has to return to the play as a hex flash towards them from missing but doesn't commit to anything ruler just chunking the nexus tower in goes birdol the whole team turns straight onto him but ruler might go down first birdol falls and ruler survives true shot onto high chow is missing soaking up damage with the team but the pirate it's huge and the carry's still going strong. JDG sent away and LGD keep themselves alive. Blast code, the only reason Ruler survives. JDG, they have maybe been, had a little bit too much fun in this game and they Jeez. are were the team that was struggling in early game. But you know what? Really solid are those bits of late game team fights. What? What's happened to that? Why are we why are we flipping that now? The it feels like that is not what we came to explain. Not so true. Look, they have great range advantage. They have great poke. LGD have defenders advantage because they can go back to base and heal up, but still JDG should be able to chip down what's left of this base. It is a lot slower than it should have been. This game should have been over at about 27, 28 minutes. It's lasted longer than that. Look at the poke though. JDG, that should be three in hips now. Yakau's rockets this game have been absurd. The amount of damage those big ones have been doing. I am fully expecting Yagao to be topping the damage chart coming out of this one with how some of these rockets have been hitting, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Ruler's been hitting some cues as well. Three in hips down, even with JDG making a couple of mistakes. I don't think it'll matter with three in hips. Jin Chao goes in, but Birdol is not there fast enough to follow up. Pyroclast does some damage, and Ruler is low. Birdol goes back in, but he falls in the end, and missing is on the back line with Kanavi. Triple for Kanavi as they look to Meteor as well. And after all of that, Kanavi. Five and a half thousand gold up individually. He's looking to an MVP. 18 to 9, a 35 minute win. It wasn't clean, but it was fun to watch. JDG take the first Nexus in the city. locked in. It'll be the realm in the end. So a little bit more standard coming out. But a very good combo nonetheless. You know, Magnet Storm with the face call. You can just be thrown One, into. It's not enough to just be a niddle. You need to be aggressive. You need to get kill participation. Meteor has been uncontested in his first clear. He's had this winning bot lane, actually, and he might be able to leverage off Flash of all in in the bottom side, and that's a kill. On to missing. Beautifully done as the burn will finish the job. Meteor grabs himself first blood. In the meantime, oh, yeah. Kanavi's chunked, but Drake almost done already as Kanavi tries to move in. Maybe he can find a long-range spear, but didn't have any vision. They will be smart. I think Meteor can just start this one off. Uh, as JDG are going to try and face check. So one thing that could happen, Ruler on the Misfortune does have a lot of move speed. He's going to be oh, here yeah. first. I mean, Yaga has so much damage and denying the crash down with the Buster shot as well. Nicely done, Yaga. He can't nice quite finish it. So close, Sheer just gets himself that footwork shield from the E. Bertel very, very close to showing exactly why this is one of his preferred champions. Meteor getting here. missing on court again. Yeah. Cancelled the recall. And that'll be a rend. That'll be Xiaoya grabbing himself a kill. Nicely done here in the bot side by LGD. Oh, his bot side chickens are up. As opposed to his top side chickens. I don't know. I guess Nidalee sees both chickens as hers. <laughs> Jin Zhao trying to contest vision here. LGD have started this strike off. JDG toying with the idea of a contest, but it doesn't feel like the positioning's great. Birdle's here too. Yagao immediately going to be denied the escape by Birdle. And that's two for LGD on top of the Drake.
Birdle roams down and Birdle makes a difference. He struggled in that first game on the Camille. The poppy has been something he's found a lot. Of an Italy, but these fights are working out for LGD. This Callista ahead as well for Xiaoya. Is LGD now grouping up in the mid lane? Are we just going to have a fight in the mid lane for the second grubs here? Hai Chao going to be caught by the depth charge. Yagao sent backwards, as is Ruler. But Jin Chao can't finish anything off here. Bullet time still available, and everybody's grouped up for it. Everybody backs away, though. LGD surviving the early damage. I felt like more than one person was going to die there, but Shaya gets pounced on by Kanavi. Kanavi trying to save the backside of that fight. Thing is, LGD still survived with enough people to stand in top river. Meteor can just throw his entire base of combos at the grubs which have spawned to hopefully get um, a whole host of them. JDG trying to stop that from happening. They're trying to get control of mid lane. Yagao, not that high HP though, quite hard for them to fight. I mean, missing is still not a part of this play. He's just about to arrive as Sheer actually gets one of the groups. Jin Zhao, Hex flashes backwards to start the fight, but JDG just take him down. That's going to be Ruler grabbing a grub as well. Anyone but the jungle is his Meteor forced away by Sheer. Birdo will be flicked back in and surely goes down. At this point, Ruler has the damage, or does he? Yagao flashes forward for another. The bomb on I just said, okay, he noticed. Doesn't kill his own teammate there, but Birdo still low. Kanabi looking to flank it at this point as Meteor goes wild on the Pillar of Flame. JDG still chasing for more. The Spear dodged the hook, dodged, missing, can't find his mark, and Meteor walks away. How the heck did JDG manage to do that, huh? They walk away with four grubs at the end of that. They walk away with a set well, of kills. Passive available, but it means that you don't get as much crit. You really want that Lord Doms, and you can't double stack anymore. Yeah. So it's kind of like, a well, it's just the best item you can get. If you could still double stack them, yeah, that'd be so, so powerful. Unfortunately, Ruler not going to believe in Yagao enough <laughs> to sacrifice his own dogs. Uh, missing goes in. Jin Zhao happy to tank that hook, though, as Shears TP'd. Every single objective will be a 5v5 this game. It's just <laughs> the way it's going to be. JDG don't want to let the third Drake go. And it might just be a 50-50 here as Jin Zhao starts the fight. Drake still going. Kanabi trying to get in for the smite. Jin Zhao goes down and Sheer flashes out the other side. Bullet time comes in. Drake goes to JDG. They find a kill and they find the objective. Anti-synergy from LGD. As soon as Jinjar goes in, Bertolt's punting the way. So the engage really doesn't work out. And what did we just say? JDG, they have that Herald. They have the four grubs. They can destroy these towers so, so uh, easy. In the meantime, it's like, okay, you guys fight in, over the control ward spot. We'll just take a tier two in the mid lane. I think what they're doing is saying, look, if we hold them here, we can oh push elsewhere. God, they are looking for the fight. <laughs> they actually get a kill. They find the 3v3. JDG just send LGD packing at the bottom side. Ruler's behind them, and he's got bullet time. Oh, God, this is a disaster for LGD. Okay, TP comes through from Bernal to deny the potential dive. Oh, my goodness, that felt scary for a right. moment. Okay, I'm trying to rationalize this. you get this. that W max, which is close to doing your max at second, you get so much passive move speed, you can move to around the map really quickly. G and way back in the day when, like, Loken was the AD carry. Yeah. It was kind of the, the Yagao and Kanavi show, it was just Kanavi was the big carry. And I feel like the roles have changed somewhat. Not that Kanavi never goes for these carries, but that Yagao has stepped up to do a little bit more of the carrying, a little bit less of the facilitating. River and an important Drake, soul point for them in a series where they have been able to contest JDG to some extent, but still have fallen behind. Birdall gets his ult denied by Sheer, but they just go straight onto the Drake. Kanavi over the wall, and he finds it, of course! He finds it, it's Kanavi. Flashes out of the play as well as Jin Zhao dies on the other side. Kanavi goes back in, perhaps too deep on that one, and falls. Bullet time forces them into a corner here. Ruler has to carry those. The rest of JDG has fallen down. Sheer onto the back line, looking for Birdall at this point, as Ruler looks for a little bit more. Double all already turns it into the triple 2v2 left on the map but jdg got the drake complete vision control of this top side start the baron off missing and sheer look to play bouncers here deny entry for meteor for bird off for jin Zhao. 
Shit, gonna do exactly that as Baron is down to 3k. It will be smited away just about in time. His Birdall now managed to knock one away, but he might just answer with his own life. That's top laner for top laner. No, Birdall survives. He gets out of there. Meteor now jumped as he looks to follow up onto this fight. Bullet time doesn't really find his mark. Fates call, pulls one to safety. LGD is still going strong in the fight as Ruler gets knocked up and LGD flip it back onto its head. LGD with two off the back of the Baron play, but Kanavi gets Meteor. What on earth are these fights, Nymera? It's so, so split. Because JDG I managed to get that because the Buckler Shield, the bullet time's not getting that much value because it's split. LGD managed to just find their way through the cracks. But that's the bullet time. Keeping our eyes on Ruler, but also Xiaoya is definitely at the point where Kalista can do massive damage in these scraps. Jin Zhao is chunked in. Yagao has actually found Xiaoya off on the side. The bomb ticking on his health, but Jin Zhao finds the engage, flashes in, and that's Yagao gone. Xiaoya will be traded by Sheer, who does manage to answer the play. Birdall in the meantime going down, as is Jin Zhao, and suddenly JEG, after their mid laner is picked, find an opportunity. Sheer is a miracle worker in this one, as Meteor left alone and will fall. JDG 4v1 as High oh. Xiao is finished off with a snipe from Kanavi. He's entering the Olympics with javelins like that. JDG, break open the base. And if you want to know why Konami gets the Nidalee pass, he just had a 5,000 damage Nidalee team fight with basically zero setup. Hitting javelin after javelin. LGD filled full of spears. We'll see themselves at the back end of a 0 2. Just like that, JDG, who needs a Drake? They end the game 14 to 12 in 28 minutes. Not as clean as the first game, although the first game wasn't that clean. Not that clean of a series, to be honest. But These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between JDG and LGD. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.